In this session, we shall execute this DFS algorithm on a given graph and we shall trace line by line and we shall have to check how these edges are being traced by this particular algorithm DFS. See, here is our graph. So, this graph is having 8 nodes and the respective edges as shown here. Obviously, if you want to put this particular graph as input to this algorithm, obviously that should be done uh, in a certain way. Let one of the examples will be our adjacency matrix of this graph. So, using adjacency matrix, we can feed this particular graph to this algorithm. We know that in case of adjacency matrix, we will be having n number of uh, columns, n number of edges and n denotes the number of nodes. So, here the number of nodes is 8. So, that is why 8 columns and 8 edges and at those places we have written 1 when the nodes will have a direct edge in between. Let us suppose 1 to 3. So, 1 to 3 there is one edge, 1 to 2 there is another edge and 1 to 4 there is another edge. But for between 1 to 5 or 1 to 6 or 1 to 7 or 1 to 8 there are no other edges directly. So, that is why this is my adjacency matrix. Now, see algorithm DFS search where graph has been taken as input. For each V belongs to N do mark of V is equal to not visited. That means, I shall be having one array that is a mark array which will be having all locations initialized with not visited. Not visited means false. Okay. So, we can consider one array like this say mark and it will be having 8 locations. So, we are having this mark array with 8 locations and initially they will get filled up with not visited. So, for this first for loop this particular mark array will get initialized in this way. Okay. Now, see for each v belongs to n for each and every vertex belongs to n do mark of v not equal to visited then dfs v. So, let us consider the first vertex that is 1 and in this array we are getting this idea that mark 1 is equal to not visited means mark 1 is not equal to visited. So, I shall go for dfs 1. So, at first I shall go for dfs 1. So, dfs 1. So, mark 1 is equal to visited. So, now this particular array will be initialized with visited at the location number 1. So, now for each node w adjacent to v do. So, now you see node number 1 is having the adjacency uh, in the adjacency matrix we are having the adjacent nodes 2, 3 and 4. So, at first I shall consider 2. So, for each node so let it be 2 at first if mark of 2 is not equal to visited. Obviously, mark of 2 is not equal to visited. So, it is not visited. So, that is why DFS W. So, I shall go for DFS W. So, DFS 1 is calling DFS W. So, uh, through this indentation I have shown that one. So, now DFS W. So, now this particular location will become visited because mark of 2 will become visited. DFS W will be coming here. So, W here 2. So, mark of 2 will be visited. Now, what, what are the adjacent nodes of this 2? 2 has got the adjacent node 1 which is already visited. It is written there, it is already visited. Then we are having this 3. So, 3 is not visited. So, 3 is not visited. So, now if mark of 3 is not equal to visited then DFS 3. So, now it will call to DFS 3. Now, it will call to DFS 3. So, DFS 3 has got so many adjacent uh, uh, vertices are there. Node number 1 already visited, you can see the mark array. Node number 2 is already visited, you can see this mark array. And node number 6 is not visited. So, from node number 3, node number 6 will be visited. But before going that, mark of 3 will be made as visited. So, in node number 6 will be called. Again, the node number 6, that is a mark of 6, will become visited. So, it will happen in this way. Now, Please go for the node number 6. Now, for the node number 6, from here also you can see the node number 2 is the adjacent. So, that has been marked you see at the column number 2 we are having 1, at the column number 3 we are having 1, at the column number 5 we are having 1. 
Now see, node number 2 has got visited already, node number 3 has got visited already, but node number 5 has not been visited. So now, from this DFS 6, node number 5 will be visited, will be called. So now, here we will be having this DFS W, here W will be having the value 5. So now it has been called in this way. So at the location number 5, it will become visited. Now it will become visited. Now see, from the node number 5, all its two adjacent nodes, 2 and 6, from node number 5, all its two adjacent nodes, node number 2 and 6, they have already got visited. Because node number 2 and node number 6, they have got visited. So now it will return back to, it will backtrack to DFS 6. 6 has got no adjacent node not visited yet. So it will backtrack to DFS 3. So DFS 3, you see 3 has got all the adjacent nodes already visited. So it will come back to DFS 2. 2 has got all its adjacent nodes already visited. You can see this mark array. So the control will come back to DFS 1. So now for this DFS 1, you can see that node number 2, node number 3 and node number 4 are adjacent nodes. Node number 2, node number 3, they have got visited but node number 4 has not been visited. So from there, it, it will go for DFS 4. So that's why to indicate that one, you see, we have written this DFS4 in the same indentation as we wrote DFS2. So that's why it is coming the same indentation. So it indicates that DFS2 was called by DFS1. So DFS4 will be also called by DFS1. So in case of DFS4, so when it will come to this, so mark of 4 will become visited. So mark of 4 will become visited. Now 4 has got 2 Un, uh, two uh, unvisited adjacent nodes were having this 7 and 8. So now it will go for this node number 4. So it will go for this uh, node number 4 is this one. So it will go for this 7 at first. So from node number 4, no, DFS 7 will be called. So now 7 will become visited. From node number 7, DFS 8 will be called. So now DFS 8 means the mark area at the 8th location, it will become visited. So as a result of that, all the nodes have got visited. So now when it will retrace back, when it will retrace back, it will come to DFS1. So DFS1 will not find any other unvisited nodes present because all these particular mark array locations have got visited. So there are no more nodes to visit. So algorithm will terminate. So in this way, in our, in our exams, questions might be coming that if on this particular um, graph, given graph, if we execute DFS algorithm, then tell us the sequence in which nodes are getting traversed, nodes are getting traced. So now in this way, such questions might be coming and you will be provided with the four options and you should have to tick mark with the correct one. So now here in this case, the sequence will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4, 7, 8. So that is the sequence. If I find this one in one of the options, answer options, then I shall put a tick on that and can score the full marks. So this is my DFS algorithm. So the previous video and this video, we have covered this DFS algorithm. And in the next videos, we'll be going for other algorithms in graph theory. Please watch all of them. And thanks for watching this one.